So in this video, I'm going to see how to configure folder redirection. So in server manager, we will go to tools, active directory, administrative center. So you can do a lot more from here, uh, from, uh, you can do everything. Uh, you can do in the user and accounts thing uh, right there and then a lot more than just you managing user and accounts there's another cool thing it shows you uh, PowerShell commands over here so Enable recycle bin. You can rename enable recycle bin. So if you delete anything, just like a computer, if you delete something, it goes to a file in Active Directory. Uh, whatever you delete will go to the recycle bin, and you can retrieve it from there. New and group. <coughs> So new and organizational unit. We go in just okay new. We create a OU organizational unit. We can do we can grow all users so we yeah we can create an all user and then we create create a group and in the group <coughs> so we can put the group name as um, folder redirect folder <coughs> redirect <clears throat> we don't want to set up an email right now we want to make sure that it is security and global so we click OK so where is the folder redirect I don't see it folder redirect <clears throat> and this we're gonna add user uh, in properties and member of members and we can actually search <laughs> so we're gonna we can add all the members that we want in this so we can add uh, oh we have to search everybody locally okay first aslan check name aslan and aslan we both go in okay then we can add I am okay then add uh, mm, I know B Brock everybody gets in and D for Donald Okay, Dan uh, and Don. Nope. Dan and Donald go in. <coughs> Let's search A for Ollie and all alien. Oh, Alan. Alan and where's Ali? Oh, Ali was on Office 365. And we can add him. Alright, so I think these are pretty much the user that I use normally. I'm gonna go with them. Okay. Uh, this video will be a long one.
so we are done here now we're gonna create this one is manage folder redirection so the second part is we have to create a network file share <coughs> for network we can click on this one I believe and we can go with the shares and then we have to search uh, we have to yeah create a new new share and there are a few files here can go with the quick one so share location we can go with that it should be in E somewhere we don't want it on C the reason is that you don't want your main installation drive to host other files you always add install another hard drive even if it's on the same uh, server and you make that hard drive for used for file servers and we go with e so you see e shares or you can <coughs> share name so uh, f redirect and if you put the dollar sign at the end of this one what it does it it uh, hides the folder even if it's there if somebody is browsing that uh, <coughs> um, drive they will not see this folder the only wo the only way of uh, getting to this folder is if somebody knows this name <coughs> so it gives you just a tiny bit of security We're gonna leave everything to the default. We're gonna go this with the further permission. I believe we have to customize permission, and then we have to disable inheritance. And you have to go with this one. The reason what we do is that uh, if a user has um, given permission from one group and it gets denied from the other so it becomes a mess like uh, they don't have the access to the parent folder but they have access to the child folder so the navigation and all that permission thing so you have to go with this one so you can give them explicit permission to different folders and so once we're done we click on apply and click ok and we can go next this is the confirmation this is the screen which tells you that uh, you have this settings this is the folder name what is it uh, server media block and you know this is the server name it's on this drive and all that we click on create it's created we close it the third part is we create a folder redirection group policy <coughs> so again we go to server manager so you see this is the server manager and we click on group policy somewhere here group policy management right there and from the group policy management uh, we can Like uh, I think it was in all users the main controller where was it okay anyways let's click it uh, create a GP in this domain and link it here we click on that we name it folder redirect <coughs> 
<coughs> and <coughs> so where is it folder redirect right there okay and now we have to customize it so this is authenticate user if we remove it it will be applied to everybody so if we can do that we can remove it <coughs> or we can leave it so okay no right here we can remove it So we're gonna add, okay, where is it? Security filtering. Group, what was the group name? That was folder F. Check name, we should get the folder redirect. That's the, so it, this policy is being applied to everybody who is part of this group and we added all of our users to them so this is like if you're creating this policy for some people in a specific department or some VIPs and <coughs> like it depends so we can click OK now it should be here and next we have to do is delegation and in the we're gonna add authenticated a UTH we search for it authenticated users so we add this group here <coughs> okay it's been added right there <coughs> and we accepted the read, read permissions <clears throat> so the fourth and final step is that we have to configure offline files for folder redirection in <clears throat> so again we can go to the folder redirect gpu this is the group policy we click on edit it gives us this one you see it's a different one than that <coughs> so now we're gonna go to user configuration policies we make it windows settings and folder uh, windows settings folder redirection and just make it a little bit bigger So we want documents so <clears throat> what we're doing is that uh, the concept is that if uh, like you have users uh, like on my floor um, you it is possible that you get a new computer if somebody's already using that so <clears throat> if you are sitting on different computers whatever files we create it, it's it's locally saved so if I set up some callbacks and I put them in a text file, save them on my desktop, it stayed there. It does not get moved to uh, the ne next computer that I log in. With this method, that what we are doing here, everything will be saved on a server on this uh, uh, E drive on my server. And it doesn't matter wherever a user logs in, they can access the same files. And it's easier for system admins to. <coughs> backup user data uh, if they just back up the file server so that's why we're doing this and we have to like select what folders we want to um, 
backup so user number one place the save files or desktops and then documents so we can click either one of them and we go with the properties and <clears throat> settings so so we can basic redirect everyone's folder to the same location location for various user groups if their user groups are different then we can do this if it's same we're doing the basic one So create a folder for each user under the root path. What happens is with each user will have their own separate um, <coughs> um, folder. If it's a group working on the same thing, you could select this one. So they have access to, they all saving the files at one location and each other, they can see this. Or local user profile location, we don't want that. So we will go with this one. <clears throat> so in the root path we can we can uh, make it go to this PC no not this PC uh, it will be okay that's uh, I think hmm okay shares folder redirect we click OK so this is the folder we're gonna go with with this warning yeah yes okay <clears throat> Then we can do one more thing is if we go to properties we can go to the settings and policy removal so if this policy is removed what you want to do there are two things uh, leave the folder in the new location that is the server location even if even though they are logging from the client's machines the other one is local user profile location when policy is removed meaning that if this policy is removed all the uh, users will be redirected back to their local machines uh, to save those files apply yes and okay so I believe we are done in the group policy management so let's go fire up a user machine um, and see if this worked so let's fire up my favorite office 365 one I worked on this machine a lot hopefully I have used uh, added that user did I add Imran to that one um, I can quickly right now I should check actually so let's go back to server go back to file now right here folder user group properties members is Imran a member yes Imran is a member okay so I should be good on that and I should be able to log in <coughs> I'm gonna pause this video here until it loads all right so it came back it's asking for admin I don't want an admin I want star and what no don't do that sign into Imran slash M This takes a long time. Let's pause the video here. All right, so it's, it's back. Let's go and check the 
folder uh, what folder did we redirect <laughs> I, I think it was uh, documents so this is slow today downloads document if we can click on documents properties see user Imran so it did not go through probably location okay let's go I'm gonna pause this video here or better yet let's uh, force the update mm. why is it so slow task manager and go with the performance what's the bottlenecking it memory cpu is at 12 okay let's go here cmd That's the server. <laughs> Let's pause the video here. I'm going to wait for this machine to respond. All right, so the machine is back. So let's go to CMD. This one is slow. So if you see this prompt, it's not an elevated one. Elevated will go to uh, system32 folder. Run as admin. And now you click OK and you see it goes to system32. So that's how you know. And here, gp update slash force. Did we enable it? It's link enable. So it is enable. Yes. So the, what this one is saying is that it needs to get uh, only run during logon. So okay to log off. Press Y and yes. So that policy because it needs to cha make changes to the system that are that needs to be done when the during logon. So it says press Y or no. I said yes. I'm gonna press S A. Uh, press enter, and now it's gonna sign me out. Once we come back on, we're gonna go check that uh, uh, for the location. Okay. So let's keep taking me to. time let's pause the video I actually wanted to sh okay let's back so let's see if I get disappointed or not so 
so this is the folder that we moved oh more like like redirected and in location it's still giving me the local address like it should be in there what I'm doing wrong let me go check uh, Come on, when this keeps long, let's pause this video here. So I search uh, Google. Uh, before that, I actually went to log in with another account. I went to the properties, and it was not working. Location, see. So when I search, I went to this video. I don't know the exact URL, but it it was a Google search. Uh, it's a good video if I can show you this one this is one noticed and I was like oh wow so uh, as soon as I saw this like his path and then mine is a uh, target it's going to the e shares folder so you know that's what we are doing wrong so we're gonna what we're gonna do is it should be I think server 2019 I think it, that's how it should be let me check if I can get this address as I apply here yes and if from here I can access this folder that's how you access ah, server 2019 slash share slash uh, redirect dollar sign click OK and in here let's get with this CMD and go run as admin get the password see what happens any magic happens why well, it's that shutting down so that uh, forced my <laughs> server to restart uh, start I want server to be on when this machine uh, read restarts so it can get the policy from server rather than if server is off this machine has nowhere to turn to get the uh, updated policy it's been a while since I ran these machines they are acting up slow to respond and rebooting for god know what reason maybe they are updating I'm gonna pause the video here until my server gets back all right the server is back let's go in here that's why press enter let it reboot and in here let me try to get to server 2019 if I can diagnostic what the hell
let's give it another try and see if it worked or not documents location and sell the come on so I think I might be able to uh, save it um, I'm still gonna make the video so it's a trial and error I think the error happened here when we're creating create a new share and if we go with the quick and you know I said that I'm gonna make an E click when I type in the past see what happens it's creating right there rather than in shares inside and if you remember it's directly in server 19 red and when I go to where is it tools in group policy management if I click here and add it then I think it was in folder and yep documents if I click on the properties you see I and I add a it should be server 19 and shares should be removed so it should be like this let's try it now and see what happens I click apply accept everything changes and do I have to refresh it is there a option to refresh somewhere nope let's get there Trump Bush now Trump I'm gonna try the CMD command again see what happens because I forgot this name is server 2019 but the the uh, the server name if I can show you somewhere local server is server 19 so that's where the kind of confusing happen so let's see if I can or it has been redirected or not I hope it has otherwise I have to create new one from scratch let's go to document folder has a sync sign so that is new I'm gonna click on server 19 FD redirect and now it's in there so the address where I was making a um, mistake in the address field so you can see now it has the correct correct uh, address so whenever I this user saves file it will be saved on the server but doesn't matter this user logs in from whatever computer he will have access to his documents let me sign out and since earlier earlier we were having issues with the Imran account we am gonna log back to in uh, and see if it has changed for Imran as well let's go to the other user so it's a good thing uh, learning wise uh, that uh, you have to trace back your steps I was actually looking at a book to see so there is no icon there so I will be eh, it's still there man what happened here it's still the location for this 
guy is still that one let's go with the CMD and this time let's go with the admin because I ran locally and that could have been uh, just for that user I'm gonna go with the admin and once this machine logs back in we'll check about this user yes Regress, yes I hate long videos so but for trial and error is uh, uh, supposed to be done this way and as a result these videos are long I do hope that fixes it <laughs> otherwise I will go crazy why is it working for one user and it's not working for uh, this other user let's go open the file explorer and I have that green icon here I am excited and it has changed for uh, this user as well now I'm gonna log out and log back in with uh, another account let's go for Obama slash Obama <coughs> so that means you have to go do it for each user okay now they're gonna set up account for Obama several minutes I'm tempted to uh, pause the video here okay he's there let's do it quickly I have the green check mark and and I you know you, you saw that this was a brand new account for uh, for this machine uh, so let's go and it looks like it is working right here you can see the location but location tab you can see it so it is working and if you remember the buttons are gone move or redirect buttons they are gone so this is how folder redirects work and I made a few mistakes learn from them I will try to keep them uh, in my mind in the back of my mind uh, for next time uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one